why women are not inventors. So like if you look back at the history of inventions, like 97% of all the inventions were created by males. And I'm talking about all the good ones we actually use this very day. I'm not talking about the stupid BS ones that bored housewives came up with. I'm talking about the real inventions. The brilliant and genius inventions that actually changed humanity forever. I mean, like, look at all these brilliant geniuses right here. These are all the top inventors of history. They're all men, men, men across the freaking board. Oh, here's a chick. There's one in here. Look at this, look at this. Joy Mangano. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, let's see what she invented. Oh! She invented the miracle mop, the self-ringing miracle mop, you know? When you have a spill at the store and, like, you don't want to use two buckets, you just, like, use one combo? She came up with that crap. <laughs> what a genius right there. Okay, like, so I know women came up with, like, a handful of decent inventions over the years. Like, for instance, the dishwasher, the life raft, and the windshield wiper. I mean, those aren't bad, but they ain't no Doc Brown-style Einstein and Ben Franklin sheet. Plus, these so-called chick inventors actually just had a part in the invention. So yeah, they actually didn't come up with them all by themselves. They actually collaborated with some other dude that did most of the work, right? Women's contribution to the invention world is actually pretty laughable. A lot of their stuff pretty much sucks, but let's take a look at some of the stuff they did. Okay, so here's our list of the top female inventions. We got a bunch of theories mixed in this list too for some reason. So we got in here the windshield wiper, the dishwasher, and the life raft. Okay, that ain't bad. Thank you, chicks, for those three inventions. You know, compared to the other hundreds of thousands of inventions that men came up with, I mean, thanks for your contribution to the society right there. <laughs> oh, check this out right here. They claim some women came up with modern day telecommunication. So I wanted to fact check that one and uh oh, looks like it's BS. Some Italian dude came up with modern telecommunication like a hundred years ago. So BS on their little article trying to cater to women and boost their ego to sell them ad space. Huh. According to this list right here, Grace Hopper invented the computer. But if you actually read the little paragraph, it says how she only had a hand in it. And if you actually Google who invented the computer, it was actually this dude right here. So yeah, boom. There you go. Oh yeah, here's another one too. They claim right here on this list that a woman invented the computer algorithm in 1840. I mean, how impossible is that BS? But let's take a look at this crap. Ada Lovelace, who's credited to writing the first computer algorithm in 1840. Are you freaking kidding me? Here's her actual so-called formula for her algorithm. It's just a bunch of madness basically that's scribbled down. I don't know how a domino ended up being some sort of numerical code for the future computer. This is like me coming up with like the future formula for the teleportation machine. Here, check this out. Here's my formula for the teleportation machine. I better get credit for inventing that crap like a hundred freaking years from now, right? But yeah, try this. Go to Google and type in the best inventors of all time or the top inventors in history or something like that. And you're gonna get a list of like 50 dudes and barely one chick. Yeah, if you look at women's contribution to the invention world, it's actually pretty small. It's like 3% or something like that. And then go look at the history of all the inventions, and you'll see it's like 97% men, or 98% men. And they do all the good ones too. They're not inventing the Snuggie or some crap like that. But check this out right here. So I try to get into the theory like why men invent, and they invent way better stuff than women. And the answer is actually pretty simple. Men use inventing as an actual mating call to attract females and to, in order, get pee sleeve. So that's what it's all about right there. That's why men put their brains to the test. They'll show the whole world what they're capable of because they're doing it for pee sleeve. But see, women on the other hand, they get their dick handed to them. No matter what they do, they don't have to be an inventor. They don't have to come up with something brilliant like these guys right here. It's because their dick gets handed to them, so they don't come up with really good, genius, brilliant inventions, right? That's right, men accomplish great things because men have to be put to the test. They gotta, like, invent something, then get famous, and then once they're famous and well-known, and they're established, they can finally get their shot at some hot pea sleeve. So that's why they're put to the test and they actually invent some good stuff. I mean, could you imagine 
some hot chick in a science lab trying to come up with an invention in order to land her some good D? I mean, yeah, it doesn't happen. Because chicks get their D handed to them no matter what they do. They don't have to invent crap. They don't have to, you know, slave away in some science lab trying to desperately come up with an invention to mate. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's dudes out there so hard up for a lay that they can whip out an invention idea just like that. Hoping that one day they'll become a rich and famous inventor and they'll finally earn them the shot at some hot pea sleeve. So like the bottom line is, pea sleeve is so hard to obtain that it actually advances the evolution of industry. It actually makes men revolutionize technology. Because women make getting pea sleeve so hard, men have to invent stuff to get it. Inventions are a man's mating call. And women on the other hand, they don't contribute as much because sex comes to them so dang easy. So therefore, they don't have to invent crap. So there you have it folks. Ha! Go Big Toe!